these days? I feel good. What was the, the injury, the, the problem that, that really, uh, reoccurred? I had a slight pec strain, so I had done it before and just re-aggravated it. How are they trying to prep you for UNC, given that, given that you know it's a new coaching staff, freshman quarterback, all that kind of stuff? Uh, well, I mean, I think the first game of any season is going to be tough. You never really know what's going to happen. And like, like UNC, they have Ole Miss's old offensive coordinator, so we've been watching a lot of Ole Miss tape, just trying to get ready for them. Since you've gotten healthy, have you quickly picked back up where you were before you got hurt? And kind of how do you feel about the safety play and the way the secondary looks? I think Muschamp has felt pretty good about the secondary so far. Yeah, I think we're a very confident position group this year. We have some talented guys, JC and Izzy, talented guys on the edge, which allows us to go do a lot inside. JT, you were on top of the preseason depth chart, so I assume that means you're healthy enough to play Saturday, you feel? Mm-hmm. When did you get back full go to practice? Um, so I've been trying to work work in right now full go. I've been doing drills, trying to get my yardage up and everything. Did you participate this morning fully? No, I didn't. Not this morning. Not fully. Yeah. JT, just talk about your journey, man, being healthy enough to finally contribute in week one of the year. What, what's kind of the process been like and things you've had to overcome to get back at this point? I mean, I've to overcome a lot. I had injury all last year. And getting a six year, I think it's a blessing. And I get to play football again, the sport that I love. What kind of film impaired for a freshman quarterback? Not having as much film on him as probably some other guys you'll prepare for. I mean, I don't think it's like that at all. I think first game of the season, you don't know these guys. We've never played UNC. It's like preparing for any first game of the season. He's a good quarterback. We'll, we'll play well. Have you seen any film on him? Um, not really, actually. We have some spring game film, but that's it. So you don't watch any of his high school film? There's really nothing you can Yeah, we watch a little high school film, but you never know. I mean, it's college, college football. He's a good player. He has a strong arm, talented arm. Sounds like they're going to run a lot of tempo. Have you guys been in practice preparing for up tempo from their offense? Yeah, we have. Yeah. What have y'all been doing to prepare for that? I mean, just tempo, trying to play as fast as we can, get the call lined up, and play. You feel good about the way you guys can handle that? I feel very confident in our team. How confident is this defense overall? I think we're extremely confident. We have talented players across the board, and we should do well this season. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the unknowns just from, especially from a secondary standpoint. How difficult is it to play fast early when you're trying to figure out your keys when there are no, those unknowns and what to expect? Well, I think Coach Muschamp does a great job preparing us. I mean, in practice, our practice is supposed to be harder than the game, so I think come Saturday we'll be prepared. How, how versatile is R.J. Roderick being listed as backup nickel and a backup safety at this juncture? I think R.J. is a talented player. He can do a lot. He does a lot for us. When you look at the totality of the season, the schedule that you guys are going to face later on, how important is it to come out and play well in this game, kind of set Second. a tone? The, the, when you look at the totality of the season, mm -hmm. to set a tone to, to play well in week one? I mean, I think no matter what team you are, the, the start of the season is always important. It's going to jumpstart the rest of your season. So I think it's crucial that we go out and play our best. How confident were you that you were going to get that sixth year, and what was the waiting process like for that? Um, I wasn't sure. I mean, I think I just took it week by week, day by day, and just prayed and hoped the best that I get it and I get to play another year of football. What is the, the feeling like knowing that you kind of got that extra year? Do you kind of maybe take reps a little harder, that kind of thing, as, as far as that? Yeah, and that's something that I preach to the younger guys. Like, football is not going to last forever. Like, take advantage of every day, every week, every month you get to play, play this beautiful game and be in this beautiful facility and do what you love. Like, it's not going to last forever. Take advantage. You guys have been going hard all summer. How excited are you to finally be able to prepare to be able to hit another team, not just your teammates? Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Okay. Yeah, we're ready. How That's physical, it. How physical <laughs> can this D-back group be? Because much James obviously talks about that. He wants to have that, that style of play. I mean, we're ready. Like, all these questions, we're ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> we're ready to play, and we'll be ready Saturday. JT, yeah. outside of obviously winning the game, what do you want to see from this defense to kind of make you feel – even better about where you guys are heading into the rest of your schedule? Um, I just want to see everybody play to their potential. We have a lot of talented guys, like I said, and everybody play to their potential, I think, would be good. I know you always talk about having a nameless, faceless opponent, but is there more juice for having a team like North Carolina on the other side? Um, say that again? Is there, is there more juice knowing that it's, you know, it's North Carolina, it's an ACC opponent, versus seeing a, an FCS or a different opponent of that nature in the first game? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. I think every game, every game we go 1-0, and and UNC is just like if we're playing uh, another team, we're going to take them the same, same seriousness. You just said you want to see everyone play to their potential. If that happens for this team this season, week in and week out, uh, what will this team accomplish? I think we could do anything we set our minds to, and 
will start this Saturday against UNC. JT, are you guys aware of Coach Muschamp's history with Coach Brown? Uh, yeah, I do know. He coached under Coach Brown in Texas, and I, I'm from Texas, so I knew okay. I knew Coach Muschamp during that era, too. Yeah. Did, did he, you have any contact with him? No, 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 no. I just knew like he I was a Texas fan, yeah. Has he mentioned that at all in preparation for this game? I mean, he knows Mac Brown. Mac Brown's a great coach. He's a legendary coach, and he's he's going to have his guys prepared. Do you have memories of those Texas teams? That yeah, I remember. I remember the 06. Right. 06 Rose Bowl, yeah. Were you a, were you a Vince Young post uh, wall or anything like that? No, I didn't have Vince Young post trauma wall, but I remember when he scored that touchdown one hand, yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> You think they're kind of just keying in on for, for this week? Um, I think we've been keying on ourselves and obviously playing fast because we know they're going to go tempo. We have to get fast, line up, and tackle, obviously, always tackle. But what was Mac Brown thought of in Texas at that time? Obviously, him, his stature well, in the national championship, things of that nature. Um, in Texas, Mac Brown was, I mean, he's, he's like a legend. Like, if you, if you were going to Texas, you were that dude back in the day, yeah. Has, has it been a conversation amongst the team at all recently uh, about what happened in the Bell Bowl and how you guys can maybe try to? No, we're not worried about that. We play UNC Saturday.